are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Wow. I cannot believe this, guys. I cannot believe this. I have been waiting ever since when the Cowboys play Saturday, Sunday. I already forgot, man. I, I, I'm astonished by this. Folks, Jerry Jones is keeping Mike McCarthy. Everybody was speculating. There's no way in the world that Mike McCarthy could survive the worst loss in Cowboys history. I don't care that this man actually won 12 games in three straight years. This is astonishing. You were down 27 to nothing in the first half of that game. You were down 41 to 16 in this game. That game was over at halftime. Jerry Jones looked extremely disappointed. Now, I was actually reading stuff about um, about uh, Mike McCarthy was basically going to have a job interview. I don't know what Mike McCarthy told Jerry Jones. But man, he must have gave the most epic interview ever because there is no way in hell this man should be keeping his job after that beatdown. The playmaker, Mike Irvin, boy, he was pissed off. He said, everybody got to go. And I agree with that. You know what, guys? The Cowboys next year, they'll probably win 12 games. And then they'll probably be done in the playoffs, round one, round two. Nothing's changing. Nothing. Jerry, what are you thinking, man? What are you thinking? Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Support us, man, because we definitely need it. Five dollars a month. That's all it starts at. Appreciate the support from the new um, channel members. Look at this. This is on ESPN. Sources. Cowboys to retain Mike McCarthy as head coach. Wow. Absolutely astonishing, man. And we know that Dak, all these other players, man, that accept mediocrity. They wanted to keep Mike McCarthy. I'm stunned by this. This is exactly why that Prescott hasn't won anything. Because mediocrity is perfectly OK, man. The Cowboys are a mediocre organization. Completely mediocre, man. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this at all. Now, Adam Schefter. Put this out, man. And even um, about an hour ago says this just in Dallas is not making a head coaching change. And Cowboys head coach Mike McCarthy is returning for the 2024 season. I believe that um, net season is actually his last season Boy, these Super Bowl windows, man, are so close. The Cowboys got a lot of talent. But they don't have the leader at the helm. They don't. Look at this here. Cowboys owner and GM Jerry Jones on the decision to retain head coach Mike McCarthy. He put out this statement here. Uh, let's read it. I have not read it yet. He says, I believe this team is very close and capable of achieving our ultimate goals. And the best step forward for us will be with Mike McCarthy as a head coach. There's great benefit to continuing the team's progress under Mike's leadership as a head coach. Hold on. What progress? You regressed this year. You actually won a playoff game last year, and this year you got blown out. You won 12 games each of the past two seasons. Are you talking about progress? Wow. Let's continue on. Specifically, there are many layers of success that have occurred this season as a result of Mike's approach to leading the team, both with individual players and with our team collectivity. Mike has the highest regular season winning percentage of any coach in Cowboys history. And we will dedicate ourselves in partnership for him to translating that into reaching our postseason goals. What? What? Jerry? The highest regular season season winning percentage of any coach in Cowboys history. Oh, so now he's Tom Landry. 
So now he's Jerry Jones, not Jerry Jones, but um, Jimmy Johnson. What? Are you kidding me? He goes on. Certainly, Mike's career has demonstrated postseason success at a high level, and we have great confidence that can continue. Then it goes on here, it says further, our loss on Sunday is shared by everyone here, not just Coach McCarthy, our players, our coaches, our front office, myself. There's accountability for our results. The lens we use to view and evaluate Coach McCarthy is holistic. While we're all disappointed with the result on Sunday and with our playoff record, I am 100 percent supportive of him as our head coach and ability to reach our goals. We will start our process of review and decision making regarding everything that impacts our team and roster. While we're not going to address uh, specific uh, players and extensions or free agents at this point, it deserves our deepest review and consideration and it will get it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Folks, I'm about to lose. This is actually worse than losing that game to the Packers. This is a worse decision right here. Than losing that game to the Packers, man. There is no way. That Mike McCarthy should be the head coach of this team. Boy, Jimmy Johnson was fired up, man, at halftime. If I'm Jerry Jones, man, I would have hired Jimmy Johnson right now. He's 80 years old. But still, you still see he got that fire, man. Mike McCarthy, you know what? He's really Chan Gailey. He's really uh, Coach Clapper on Jason Garrett. He's those guys. He's those guys. He is no Jimmy Johnson. I don't want to hear anything about this man having the highest win percentage in Cowboys history. I don't care. Because when you're the Dallas Cowboys, it is about the postseason. Actually, I still do believe, guys, that um, the Cowboys have the most postseason wins in NFL history, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, they may actually be surpassed now by um, the Patriots because of uh, Tom Brady. I mean, this is unacceptable, man. This is unacceptable right here. Mediocrity is the norm. And Jerry Jones is OK with that. He don't want to win a Super Bowl. I don't care what he says, man. We are not winning a Super Bowl with Mike McCarthy. I'll be shocked if we did, man. Shot. We have seen too much evidence, man. He ain't that guy. These players do not fear Mike McCarthy. They don't fear him. Unbelievable, man. I'm stunned. I'm absolutely stunned. I thought Jerry Jones would get rid of this guy. I really, really did. I'm pretty sure that uh, Emmett, Troy, and uh, Michael Irvin, they got to be hot right now. They love Jerry Jones. But boy, Michael Irvin exploded, trashing the Cowboys. He said everybody got to go. Guess what? Business as usual. Nothing's changing. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.